an eyesore, an albatross. Call it what you will, the St. Croix Meadows dog track has been idle for 17 years and it's going away. We're tearing down the existing building, demo as you can see behind us. Uh, we're obviously grading, mass grading and putting in the utilities and creating the pad ready sites for our, our future tenants. Clint Kloss leads the development team that plans to transform the 130 acre site into a modern business campus anchored by a medical device company and home to the St. Croix River Hounds, a new collegiate baseball team in the Northwoods League. The city and the community of Hudson is a beautiful area. You've got the river there, you've got a great community, a great historic downtown. A half a million dollar grant through the Idle Sites Redevelopment Grant. It's exactly for projects like this. Governor Scott Walker was on hand today to formally announce a $500,000 grant from the state of Wisconsin to help with the cost of clearing the site. Part of it's because for projects like this, it's not just developing them. When you have a large physical asset uh, that needs to be brought down to then clear the site and bring it up for development again. The project also brings the promise of jobs and raises hopes of city leaders that Hudson natives will stay in this area and raise their families. We're talking about in excess of a thousand jobs here on this site and these are going to be good technical jobs, good professional jobs. This part of the St. Croix River Valley is already one of the fastest growing areas of the region and this new business park will be just another jewel in the crown. In Hudson, Wisconsin, John Croman, Carol Levin News. The developers expect to announce by August the name of the medical device company that has signed on to be the main anchor tenant at that business park.